Hello YouTube, it's Dawn Prickett and welcome back to the channel. So I'm always saying, what difference would it make in your business if you had an extra thousand dollars in sales or an extra thousand dollars in um, net profits each month? And so I kind of went about trying to recreate that beyond what I normally do for my advertising and what I normally do for my, for my sales and things. I decided that I was going to experiment. So I decided to run an ad for a product that I don't normally advertise. I thought this would be the perfect experiment because I don't get a lot of organic sales, which means it's not going to mess with the experiment. Um, that if I get a, an increase in sales, then that must mean that it came from the ads, a aside from all of the metrics that, that Facebook shows me. Um, and I also wanted to increase my digital sales. So I run a knitting supply shop. I mostly sell row counters and stitch markers, which are tools for knitters to make their life happier and easier. Um, but they are a physical product that I ship. And I would like to increase my digital sales so that then I have um, more money coming in without more work for me to have to do. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah, it sounds good to me too. So I chose my one of my best selling patterns. Now, like I said, I don't actually sell a lot of patterns and probably because I don't advertise a lot of patterns. And so I, I chose the the patterns that sell the best for me even though I don't sell a lot of patterns so the reason why I did this is because when you're gonna run an ad you want to make sure that the thing that you're selling or that you're advertising is already selling and then you know if there's a problem with the ad that it's the ad and it's not the product so I chose one of my best selling um, one of my best selling patterns and I figure if I can get more eyeballs on it then it should sell you know, if you've already got a good selling product and it sells to the people who are already seeing it and then you add some more eyeballs, then you should get more sales. That's the equation and how it should work out. So the pattern that I am going to that I decided to advertise was for my ocean buddies and they are these little um, creatures. This is a little sea turtle. This is a crocheted version. I have a knitting version that I, is the one that I'm actually selling. This one is a prototype so that I could sell it to crocheters too. But it's a um, it's a ten pattern ebook, and it has um, a a turtle and a stingray and a dolphin and a narwhal and a whale and a hammerhead shark and you know so a whole bunch of different little creatures, and I sell the patterns themselves for five dollars a piece. I also have a free pattern that's kind of a freemium or get on my email list sort of thing, and I have. Um, you can buy the entire ebook for $26. So I've got the gambit, the range of things. And when you are advertising things on Facebook, it's really important to make sure um, that you can increase that cart sale, that you're not just going to get a $5 sale out of your ad, or it's difficult to, um, to make enough money to support your ads um, or to make money, period. Um, that your ads are going to eat up all your profits. So I do have a, a range of things, plus the benefit of if I send them to my website, they can buy anything else on my website. Um, so I've got things set up on the back end for success. And the other reason why I wanted to experiment with this particular product is I hear all the time people say, I can't do Facebook ads or I can't advertise because my product doesn't cost enough to justify it that um, my Facebook ads or my Etsy ads will eat up all of the profit because it's just a small product. It's just a small thing. It's a $5 product or it's a $20 product or it's a $50 product. I've heard this all for all ranges, but you know, here's a reality check for a second. My main product is $21. And most people will tell you that that's probably not a product that's worth advertising, that they feel like that's maybe too low. But I do really well on Facebook advertising that $21 product, and I sell a lot of them because of it. So we've got our product, um, and I am going to send it to my website. Let me show you um, the landing page that they're going to. This is um, the landing page that they're coming to. It's on my web page. You can see it's got my main header and everything up here. 
Um, it's got the Ocean Buddies, which is uh, the name of the ebook. Um, all of these are links to the individual patterns. Um, down here, I've got all of the videos on um, how to do the various little things to be able to knit the patterns. This is a free page. I advertise it as a free class to go with the patterns. I've also got a great big button that says you can get this one for free and you can get all 10 patterns here. So that's where they're going. Um, this is the ad that I decided to run. Um, so um, it's got my long form advertising copy that I normally do. I'm trying to solve a kind of a problem or to entice them. Um, this one is a carousel ad. So I've got the three pictures of the three best selling patterns within the collection and then a picture of the final uh, of the the ebook cover and i went ahead and took some testimonials from etsy some reviews and went ahead and put them in there to show people that says hey this is a really great pattern we really love it um, and to just kind of help boost things along so i'm throwing in all of my tricks here and the ad ran for about three weeks and here's the results of my ad. So you can see, um, here's my, um, my Ocean Buddies. It ran, I'm doing right here. You know, this is the month that it, that it has gone from August 31st to the 22nd. And I've been running it at a budget of $20 a day. Now to you, that may feel like a really big budget. Um, and it is kind of a big budget. It's much bigger than what, what I started out as when I first started advertising. But because the, the main ebook is $26 and I know, I already know that most people who purchase one of these patterns, you know, about half the time they will choose to purchase the full sized ebook instead of um, choosing just individual patterns. So I, I wanted to try and get at least a sale a day. Um, that's usually my goal when I set my ad budgets. So $20 would be justifiable for a $26 product when it's a digital product and I don't have to ship anything. So the only cost involved in selling this would be the ad budget. And, you know, I would make six bucks off of selling that ebook, which I'm cool with. It's a digital product. I'm okay with that. And you'll see I got 55 orders from it and a total revenue of $13.93. Now $13.93 minus the $4.42 ads budget comes out to about $950 in net profits from this ad, <laughs> which I was pretty tickled with. I mean, heck, I think I will call that a successful experiment. <laughs> so like I said at the beginning, how much difference would an extra thousand dollars make in your business? Now you may look at my ads budget and you're like, well, crap, Don, you spent $400 on ads on that to get, you know, the thousand, the $1,300 in revenue. Okay. Here's my deal with ads budgets. A lot of people will look at their, um, their overall income and will say, I can only afford to spend X amount of dollars on ads. And I think that this is a backwards way of thinking. I like to think of my ads as a percentage of sales, like a discount or a commission. So I am happy to give my customers a 20% discount. In fact, I do it all the time. If they sign up for my email list, you can get a 20% coupon, use it. I'm happy to give it to you. Um, I'm also happy to give a commission to websites that are willing to send me traffic that will result in sales. And I think of this in the same way in my brain as if I had given that discount to the customer, I'm willing to do that. I have built my prices in such a way that I can afford to do that. I can afford to offer a 50% wholesale discount for bulk orders, even shipping it, even time and labor, even paying an assistant to do all of that, because that's how I need to be able to afford to do it. So I am comfortable giving a 50% discount and being okay with that. So if my ads budget came up to, you know, even close to 50% of a shippable product, I'm okay with that. Anything, any discount, you know, or anything that I make above that 50% dollar amount is profit to me. 
So if I look at and I'm like, I'm ha I'm comfortable selling my $21 product at, you know, $10.50 um, as my wholesale price, and I sell it for $16 or, you know, $17 instead, that's extra profit that I wasn't counting on. So I'm cool with that. So don't freak out about the $400 ads budget that I spent. Um, I, I consider that a portion of my, of my sales and I'll just take that out automatically. And remember, this is a digital product that I don't have to ship, I don't have material costs, I don't have any of that included in it. So it's $900 in profit. Okay, so I ask you again, how much difference would it make in your business if you had an extra $900 in your pocket in profit? I know that there was a time in my business where that was more than I took home in the entire month. Um, a time not so long ago, actually, where maybe I only brought home $500 a month out of what I actually sold. Um, and so $1,000 can be life changing. If you think that maybe you, you might wanna try this Facebook ads thing, um, you can click down in the description. I do have a crash course in Facebook ads that is designed specifically for maker businesses because I understand how we all think about this and how, how scary and how difficult maybe the idea of jumping into advertising can be. But remember that, you know, if you want to, if you want more than what Google and Etsy are dropping in your lap, you have to do something to be able to go out and find the customers. Um, so this experiment went so well <laughs> that I decided to try another experiment. And um, I, I also sell these patterns on Etsy as well as on my website. So I decided to do a head to head showdown between Facebook ads and Etsy ads and um, see how they did. I mean, we already know that the Facebook ads are working. Um, I'm hoping that the Etsy ads are going to work too, but you know, honestly, I'm a little bit skeptical because my patterns have not traditionally sold well on Etsy. And I think that has to do with the fact that people are not necessarily searching for my products or searching for something like it. Um, that it's more of a product where if somebody sees it, they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that exists. I need to make that. And that is the problem with Etsy's search-based um, system versus Facebook ads um, audience-based system. Um, and I, I think I've talked about that before. I can talk about it again in another video. But <laughs> if you'd like to see how this experiment goes, if you want to bet on how it's going to go, um, leave a comment below, um, watch for the next video, and don't forget to click the like button and so that you can see us next time and subscribe so that you get a notification. Okay, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.